right, let's talk about the problem that is fire ants and raised beds. Because raised beds don't have a lot of problems, but becoming an ant bed is a problem because for them it's an easy place to just burrow and live. So I don't know if you can see that. There are a ton of fire ants in there right now. I am going to spray on them. You can do um, straight up peppermint oil. I'm telling you, essential oil, I don't really dabble in them much anymore. I mean, I still use them, um, obviously, but I just did some Everclear. You can also do vinegar mixed with um, essential oil, and I'm just going to spray those. It's perfectly fine for the plants that these are on here. I'm going to spray that plant. It's got ants crawling up it not good for the health of the plant, you know? So I just sprayed some um, Everclear mixed with peppermint oil on these bad boys, and they will be gone within a couple of days. As you can already see, the hill has calmed down a lot since I sprayed it. They're burrowing deeper to get away from this. So I'm gonna dig them back up. There they all are again, making them mad. And I'm gonna start spraying at them again. Get down deep, make them mad. Okay, and in a couple of days, those ants will have moved on and found somewhere else to live. It might be somewhere else in the garden bed and I might have to find them again. It might not, um, but for now, I have found a little bit of them. I actually just planted some garlic right here, which is how I found them, is I just put down garlic and I don't want them to impede the growth of my garlic so I want to go ahead and get rid of them before they hurt my garlic that I just put in just the seeds that's why you don't see anything so anyway um, there are different ways like if you mix together let's see if there's anything down here if you mix together um, Epsom salts with water slugs don't like that slugs don't like eggshells um, you know, there's a lot of things you can do to kill pests that are natural and don't hurt your garden. Hey, darling. You go back inside? It's hot. Okay, quick gardening video. Let's talk about pests because they're coming out. June bugs, aphids. Uh-huh. That guy there. Pest. They're eating holes in all of my leaves. Now, ladybugs are okay. We, we like ladybugs. They, they do pretty good getting rid of all the bad pests. Those things ate apart all of my peppers last year. I mean, they like ate everything. I'm gonna give him a little spray. He fell right off. He fell right off. Goodbye pest. This is actually a spray I made, um, homemade, and it has equal parts. So I did 20 drops each of essential oils, peppermint, thyme, rosemary, and clove. And I put it in here with some mild dish detergent, some um, Dawn. See, this one has ants all over it. Let's eat those up. Ants can't stand the mint. Oh, there they go. I don't know if you can see them falling down. Little ants are falling down, falling down. I hate pests. So this stuff is good for your garden because it will not hurt the good parts of your ecosystem. Like you want to keep some bugs, right? Your, the ecosystem of your, of your garden is very important to it thriving. But the things that are eating all my leaves, I want them gone. And like, oh, I see aphids, mm-hmm, aphids flying away. Leah, that poor rabbit. Don't get her around this spray, okay? Why? I don't know if it's not good for rabbits, but I'd rather not risk it because it has essential oils on it. Oh, there's aphids. Oh, no, wait. Those are those beetle things. They fell right off. There's a beetle. Let's get him. Let's get him. Okay. We're going to kill these things with essential oils. Ooh, he's hanging on. He's hanging on. Uh... <laughs> We're killing him with essential oils and dish soap. Oh, he's trying. That guy is trying. Oh, there he goes. The other guy's already fell off. Um, so I'm going to save my plants. Every time it rains, I'm going to have to come back out here and spray these things. But I'm telling you, last year they decimated 
my bell peppers and I didn't want to plant again this year. Um, I'm going to anyway. <laughs> I did plant bell peppers again. I didn't want to because of how badly they got decimated by these pests and it just broke my heart. But this year I am armed and dangerous. And I'm just gonna spray these beans, which by the way, I planted from seed four days ago. From seed four days ago, <laughs> I just popped the seeds in the ground. There they all are. These are green beans and butter beans coming up. And look, I have a little cucumber. Hello, little miniature cucumber. So there, things are coming along. There's my melon plants. I have no idea what this is. What is this? This is some kind of weed. Oh, it's corn in the back. <laughs> Okay, you see here, pretty melon. This is my lemon drop melon, getting flowers on it. I'm checking my other stuff. My tomatoes have yet to be touched, which is good. I haven't seen any holes in those and I just pruned them yesterday. Um, so but I just wanted to show you that with the homemade stuff. I, I made a video, I didn't post it. I made a video showing ants coming up in my garden beds. Um, and I just put peppermint oil straight onto the pile of ants and they were gone in two days. So I do highly recommend, and you don't have to get like a high quality, like I use Young Living because I have Young Living, but you don't have to have a high quality essential oil brand, um, in order for it to work as garden pest control. So, um, I like... I like like Young Living's purification for personal bug spray, but you certainly don't have to have the high dollar stuff for just spraying your plants down, you know, like you just don't have to. So that's just a word to the wise. And I hope that helps you with your gardening to give it a good spray and help your plants live and not deal with the aphids and the beetles and the June bugs, which are all coming out. June bugs almost ate up my grapevine out front. You remember how pretty that is? Yeah, they almost ate that up. So I had to do some spraying on that too. So anyway, there you go. Good luck. Fight those bugs.